Oh, wait, hello there, guys and gals. The Welsh Hunter here, back with chapter two of Life is Strange True Colours. The excellent Life is Strange True Colours, it has to be said. Now, obviously, in the last chapter, our brother Gabe got pretty much fudged up. Um, smashed a boulder into his neck, face, and his whole body. Fell down a cliff, and he is pretty... <laughs> he is as dead as they can come. In fact, he's deader than dead. I've never seen just such a dead person be so dead in my life. But Gabe was it. And now we are going to start and begin to find out what in the bloody hell just happened to that stupid mine. It's Ethan's fault. This is all Ethan's fault. Him thinking he can be a cool monster and stuff. Well, now Gabe's dead. Anyway, obviously, as is the norm, we're going to start off with a lot of dialogue. But, you know, I'm going to be respectful for this one. Um, but, uh, yeah. Gabe did. Sure. Gabe was the worst bartender I've ever known. I never issued a speeding ticket to someone on a bicycle before. Until he came along. He cared so much about my admissions essay. Even though he probably couldn't spell admissions <laughs> or essay. <laughs> he booked my band to play the lantern all the way from Seattle to pretty much right where I'm standing. <laughs> I can recall 14 specific instances where Gabe said something that made me laugh. <laughs> the first was two years ago. So, long story short, instead of a ticket, I ended up buying him a beer. Gabe stood like three feet away, grinning like a doofus at us. I'm sure there were more people. But I only remember him. And then he said, I know! That's why the K is silent. <laughs> uh, then the fifth time... He cared about everyone. He was the kind of guy you wanted to be around. He was a world-class bullshitter. He was my best friend. All I want to say about Gabe is, he came into this bar as a stranger But he left it as family. <clears throat> Guess that's that then. What happened to Gabe was a senseless, tragic accident. And I just wish it that- It wasn't an accident. Son, now is not the time. Gabe called the mine. I gave him my sat phone to be sure he could get through. They fucked up. And now... Now Gabe's dead. That was my shift. If anyone had called, it would have gone through me. Nobody called. You're lying. in front of Gabe's own fucking sister. Alex heard the whole thing. He's right. I was there when Gabe made the call. I'd like to hear what you have to say about that, Mac. I'm not saying anything. Just, I didn't get a call 
draw your own conclusions. All right, folks. This is an ongoing investigation. How about that- we review the sequence of events? Hmm? Well, son. When I saw you at the record store, you seemed pretty eager to find Gabe. Remember why? Hmm? Another fight with Riley, maybe? No, I don't have to take this. Just saying. Pretty wild that you come stumbling out of Gabe's apartment with your face all fucked up. Right. And just a couple hours later, you just so happened to miss the call that would have saved his life. Look, I told you there was no call to miss. Hey, maybe the call got dropped. Or oh, shit, I mean, it's not like it's not like Gabe was Mr. Reliable all the time. You watch your mouth, Mac. Right, that's enough. Now I'm just as eager as you to understand all this, son, but there was a time. Bullshit, and- Dad. This little weasel's calling Gabe a liar at his own fucking wake. No, I am just telling you. Mac, I swear, if you say there was no call one more fucking time. Stop it! Stop it now! This is not the time or place. We're all here for Gabe. Okay, Ryan? Sure, I'm... I'm sorry. It's not. I'm just I'm not the one who killed him. Aren't you, though? What the fuck did you just say? Ryan, back off. Oh, I'm hell. just saying. I thought I heard that you Mac, were the one. you shut the hell up. No. No, go ahead. You got something to say, Mac? Let's fucking hear Come it. Come on, guys. Don't make me intervene. All right. Fine. As long as we're tossing around accusations, way I hear it, you're the guy who cut the rope. Why not That's you? That's it. Wait's over. Everyone, out! Alex? Hey. Fuck those guys. Yeah. Are you okay? God, no. I'm a fucking wreck. It's not your job to keep it together. Thanks. Do you, um, it's messy. But, do you want to come in? Sure. You play guitar? Sort of. It was a gift. From Gabe. Cool. Gabe would try to pop wheelies outside the record store to make me laugh. Never worked. Till he wiped out. That was hilarious. Gabe really wanted to do the LARP for Ethan. But by the end of it, he was more jazzed about it than anybody. 
Wish I could have seen it. We took this a year ago. We... No way. I can't. What? We actually kept it. made her think of, it really messed her up. I wonder if I could help her the same way I helped Ethan. So then, Steph is understandably pretty upset about what's happened to Gabe, even though she does have her consistent seduction eyes, which is pretty hard, actually. It's making me hard under the collar. Oh my god. Anyway, nip over to Steph and hold the A button right here, and we're gonna be able to grab a couple of things in order to try and cheer her up. So I'm not sure if you have to interact with absolutely everything, it's the foosball table that we need to be, um, it, that's the main one that uh, basically cheers Steph up a little bit, uh, but we're going to go around uh, just grabbing and interacting with a couple of items, the first one of course is the record player directly by the right of us, and then as soon as that one's done we can nip over and straight in front of us is the foosball table. Foosball is basically for fat, lazy people who can't be asked to play football. So that's me then. <laughs> I'll cover the ticket. You just lost 50 bucks. So if we go left right here and head into the kitchen, you're going to see a glass with Steph's name on it. Well, actually, it's um, got no name on it, but you get what I mean. Figure of speech and Steph. Taking it. I move to Denver next week. You what? And then if we head backwards, back into the room where Steph is, just on the TV, you're going to find a video game. And like I said, this is the typical jetalon kind of 1000 out of 1000 gamer score that you can get while uh, unzipping your pants or so. tonight. And lastly, but not leastly, the bottle of pure hardcore 80% Russian gin, or whatever the hell it is, right next to Steph. Champion, Gabe Chen. Oh, you're the worst. Can't believe I have to stay in this stupid town. I think we both know you could have beat me if you really wanted to. So you're welcome. Bullshit. I think I know enough to help her now. So after all that, then, we can now speak to Steph. Um, you got to press the A button to help her, and then we'll be able to press the A button to speak to her, or vice versa. Now, I'm pretty sure you actually have to interact with everything anyway in order to be able to speak to Steph. Um, so, that's pretty much that one. Uh, but basically, as soon as the options come up, we can just choose the X button, which is the foosball option. Obviously, you'll have a bit of a chat with Steph about the other things if you want, but Foosball is the one that actually carries the story forward. So, choosing Foosin' Ball and getting your Foosin' Ball onto Gordon gone. Yes, I am German. <laughs> no, I'm really not. Yeah. And he said he kicked your butt. <laughs> Asshole. I don't really think it's a great time. Fine.
First to five points, if you say so. So the instructions in button use are easy enough. You press the RT and RB button to obviously control the uh, two right ones, and then the LT and LB buttons to control your goalkeeper and your defenders there. So the um, right trigger with the strikers and midfielders might get used. You might be able to get used to quite easily. Um, but for some reason, I, I was having a little more trouble with the goalkeeper and defenders pushing the left bumper and left trigger buttons. Um, but, yeah, you'll be fan. It's easy enough. It literally doesn't matter if you win or lose. And it is very easy enough to win anyway. This is just... I mean, look, this is just pure vintage Manchester United right now. This is just pure Ronaldo up front. Lingardinho blasting it from the wing. Just pure mwah. Not Martial, because he's uh, lazy as hell. Um, but, look at that. We have already won, so that basically just confirms that Manchester United are going to win the Premier League this season. So, it's a bit unfortunate if you're not a United fan. Uh, also, by the way, there are going to be three games of foosball. Each one gets a little progressively more difficult, but still, Steph's pretty much... While we're mocking her right here, Steph's kind of in her... Still crying about Gabe being dead kind of thing. So you can understand why she isn't playing her best. Okay, okay. Joking aside, playing this stupid game with you is exactly what I need right now. You're on. <laughs> I'm actually trying this time, so you better focus. I am focusing. Good. Wouldn't want you to get distracted or anything. Certainly not. Greatest Northwest band of all time, go. <laughs> Are you trying to distract me? Oh, of course not. Slater Kinney, if you were wondering. time <laughs> okay whoa, wait let's get serious one more game winner takes title of ultimate foosball champion mm, i don't know come on you know gabe would be all about us playing like this well then it's settled <laughs> this is it for all the marbles so many marbles Definitely the kind of game you want to focus on, no matter what happens. Totally. Hey, so are you into girls or what? <laughs> I'll date anybody, assuming they're my type. <laughs> What's your type? I'll let you know when I meet them. This is what? What? Fuck. <laughs> I knew it. How old are you exactly? Old enough to know better. Alex. I'm really glad you talked me into it. It was a lot of fun. Of course. <sighs> it's kind of 
crazy that you knew exactly what would cheer me up. Don't give me too much credit. I'm the one who really needed it. So, what are you gonna do now? What do you mean? That shit with Mac. He's clearly lying, right? I'm not sure what Mac's deal is. His story doesn't add up. Yeah. I do know that I need to find out exactly what happened that night. For myself and for Gabe. I've got your back, no matter what. Thank you. That means a lot. I should head back to work. Cool. Bye. Steph's just tamping cause she lost. Steph's just tamping cause she lost. I assume anyway, she didn't look tamping to be honest. She did. She gave us a kind of a cheeky seduction smile and a seduction eye. But anyway, when we regain control of Alex, we're going to go head left and go straight up the stairs. We couldn't before, but we can now. So, nice little place above a pub, this. Uh, basically, there is our first memory slash collectible slash achievement that we're going to unlock, right, meow? So, yeah, it's a nice, it's a nice little place. It's where Gabe and I hang out, hang out once. And when we get up here, then go to the left, and on the left-hand side, flower bed. As soon as you don't get knocked out by the bird feeder, there is the button. So again, LT, hold the A button, and this is collectible number one out of five for this chapter. I'll be the only trans person in a town with a population of, like, four. That sounds like a blast for me. Thanks for not trying to stop me. I'm sorry, Izzy. It's not you. And it's not the band. I fucking love that shit. But I need to try this. It's just... time for something new. I knew it. I knew this would happen eventually. Fucking see you around, Steph. So now we can just head back downstairs, and then what we're going to do is head back downstairs once again, go into the bar, and we're going to have a little speak to Jedward, the better of the two Jedwards. Is is. So, once in the bar, we are going to be grabbing another collectible achievement, but first things first, let's go ahead, grab the chair on the right, and like I said, Jedward will give us a cheeky little, uh, a cheeky little love muffin, a little chat. But I assume that funerals slash wakes have gone better than this one. Potentially. I wanted to apologize. For all of us. We're all grieving, but that's no excuse. It was your brother's wake. And you both deserve better than listening to a bunch of fools squabble. I appreciate it. That was pretty rough. Although it's hard to imagine a good version of your dead brother's wake. No, there's no good version. Just all of us trying to get through it together the best we can. 
It wasn't the first wake held in this old building. I doubt it'll be the last. Anyway, if there's anything I can do, just let me know. I need to talk to Mac. I know he's lying. I just don't know why. Any idea where I can find him? Well, he helps out Eleanor at the flower shop. That'd be the place to start. Thanks. I feel like I should warn you, though. You might not get the kind of closure you're looking for. If you get any at all. Just don't pin all your hopes on Mac Loudon. Thanks for looking out for me, but what else am I supposed to do? I wish I had an answer for you. But if you get a chance before you go all dirty, Harry, swing by the dispensary. Charlotte wants to see you. And one more thing. I've been meaning to give you this for the last few days, but I didn't want to disturb you up there. It'll get you through that door and the one upstairs. This is your home now, for as long as you'd like. As long as I like? Really? I don't want to make any assumptions or put any pressure on you about what to do next, but you're always welcome. Thank you. Give him hell. <laughs> Did Jed just mention something about a dirty Harry? Now, I'm sure I've seen that before somewhere on Pornhub. Ah, uh, uh, yep, yeah, that's right. No, nope. no do not Google what a dirty Harry is. Okay, <laughs> I'm just joking. I actually don't know. Right, so we're gonna have a couple of messages again. You can sift through them, have a little look through them if you want. But the main thing we're gonna be doing is grabbing El Collectorable. Yeah, thank you. Sorry, Steph. The only thing I'm interested in is your nudes, and if you're not providing, then I'm just gonna put my phone away. And you, ducky, go on. You might as well send me a wiener pick as well while you're there. I'm interested to see if I'm playing as Alex, by the way, not not me. Uh, anyway, as soon as we can, we're going to head behind the bar where Jed is, and then there is the rent check just to the left of him. So again, press the LT and A button, whip this one out. Look, I appreciate what you're trying to do for me, Mr. Lukin, but I'm not staying long. And I don't take handouts. Just... Once that is done, immediately straight in the bar, we're going to go to the left, all the way down to where the fire exit is. Row. And there's going to be an umbrella that we are going to have a check out. So, same thing. Left trigger, hold the A button, and that is already then the third collectible done. She was the first person I told. She said... She said, you're exactly what these mountains need. So we've done everything that we can in the bar. You might as well get a shot of absinthe down you as well, ready for the day ahead. You know, sort of numb the pain as it were. And you can see why people turn to alcoholism. Um, but, but no, we're not going to do that because we are super cute and super cured. But we are heading outside. We're actually going to be grabbing the game's first couple of missable achievements now. Okay, Jed said I might find Mac in the flower shop, but I have time to swing by the dispensary if I want. Right then, so after we just have a look at the phone, what we're going to do is run straight in front of us, uh, just underneath this sort of wooden arch right here in between the two pillars, and there's going to be a woman on the right. So again, we need to read her thoughts. So again, that's left trigger and hold the A button. And she wants to see some kind of bird ass. Or ass bird. 
Or Asperger's. No, sorry, I shouldn't take the mic there. Um, you can speak to her if you want, but um, I, I'm not sure if that's necessary, but we'll do it just in case anyway. So speak to her, and then what we can do... Yeah, we're all good, so let's go, Al. Come on, girl. So go directly behind you. Basically, there's a path on the left-hand side that we're going to go on to. And just if you have a look at this wall and up in the tree directly in front of us now there is a bird we're going to look at that now that is basically the bird that old bird's eye fish finger was after so we're gonna obviously head back to her so give the little the little alex jog of life go ahead speak to the bird's eye captain right here and that is what will unlock us the achievement so very easy but easily missable as well so make sure to grab this before moving on if you do miss it you can obviously just replay the chapter a little bit later on anyway so head back down and head to the right into the sort of town looking area i say the town looking area it is the town area <laughs> so you again you can read people's thoughts and speak to people if you want but we're going to go see this big moose statue right here this is just as a point of interpretation so head to the left and we're actually going into the record store now which is on the left we have been in here once before when steph was uh dancing and being all cute and stiff So it is the second missable achievement that we are going for now. So as you can see, there is a big nerdy virgin looking guy who's probably got about a nine inch dong just having a look at some records. So we're going to interact with his emotions. So again, left trigger, hold the A button. And we think that he's going through a breakup. So if we go directly behind now and go to the bulletin board and press Y to look at it. Uh, as it turns out, Chrissy is a dog. So there is a number. Basically, it's been found. So all we need to do now is just go and speak to our nine inch donged legendary friend. You posted about a lot and that is what will unlock us the achievement. Fantastic. So there we go. So that's both missable achievements done in this chapter. Now what we're going to do is crack on and go and grab the final two achievements. Not after we have uh, here a little conversation. Oh, look at the little nine inch legend. Is she okay? Oh, thank God. I is she there now? Oh, awesome. Yes. Thank you so much. Can I pick her up today? Oh, I'm happy for him, man. There's nothing better than reuniting with your lost dog, or reuniting with your dog after a long-ass crappy old workday. So from here, we're going to go directly in front of us to the Silver Dragon. It is literally directly in front of where the record shop is there, the pharmacy, or what's it called, the dispensary. Which is just weird. And basically what's going to happen, there is a memory collectible in here, but there is also a long chat with Charlotte, so... A uh, couple of things, again, a couple of dialogues or options to choose. Really doesn't matter which one you choose, so don't worry about that one. Um, but it does play out for a couple of minutes. I didn't know him well, but I could tell he had a big heart. I'm so sorry for your loss. Charlotte? Alex, hey. Jed said you wanted to see me? I just wanted to see how you were doing. I've been trying to stay busy mostly. 
Yeah. Distractions help. How about you? I can't even imagine what you're going through. Honestly, I'm really trying to keep it together for Ethan. He's hurting. Is he all right? He practically just lost a father. But he's shutting me out. He's never done that before. Not when it mattered. Stay strong. You'll get through the hard parts. Both of you. Easier said than done, huh? Yeah. No shit. I can't get over the feeling that the one person who could help me deal with the aftermath of Gabe's death is Gabe. What is this? An affidavit from Typhon. If I sign, I'm agreeing not to press charges in exchange for a payment. A big one. How big are we talking? It's send Ethan to college big. Shit. Are you gonna sign it? I don't know. I'm trying to put Ethan first, but... What would you do? Do you think it would be a betrayal of Gabe? You have to put Ethan first. If the money helps, I think you should take it. Um, I've got to be honest. I wasn't actually paying attention to this bit, so I didn't know who was offering her the money. Um, but I would have actually said no, because Typhon seemed like an evil corporation. Evil. Anyway, once this is done, we're going to head into the room on the left-hand side here. And as you can see, there's a bunch of gummies on the one of these shelves, the right-hand side shelf. Again, left trigger, hold A, and that is where the next achievement is. Damn, weed gummies. That is just, that's got to be a winner, right? <laughs> that has got to be a winner. You don't have to do anything. Pfft, job done way better at treating it when you're also tackling the underlying cause. Any idea what's keeping you up? I mean, no wonder Charlotte still seems quite chilled out, man. She's just smoking the bong all day. Which I suppose is the only way to heal after your loved one perishes by a boulder down a cliff. So we're going to head out now, basically we're going for one more memory, and basically we're going to be doing another puzzle in the flower shop. Not weed flowers, but just regular flowers. Both smell the same, both just pretty fit actually. Um, but you can't smoke flowers because that'll be weird. Dodgy Diane being a dodgy ass bum dealer again by the looks of things. So... That is exactly what we're going to do. We're heading to the right. And it's basically going to be the last shop on the on our right. So not the barbers, not the bait and tackle, sorry. That's not a barbers. Christ, you wouldn't you wouldn't trust someone who fishes for a living with your hair, would you? Unless you're going as bald and grey as me. Anyway, heading into the flower shop. A little bit of conversation once again is going to play out between you and Eleanor, old gropey, gropey old woman from earlier on. Eleanor? Oh! oh. <gasps> Sorry. <laughs> no need to apologize. How are you, dear? Oh. I'm, um...
I'm okay, I guess. Taking it one moment at a time. It's the best way to be. Uh, is Mac here? Oh, he was helping me not too long ago. I think he just left. Can't have gotten too far. <laughs> Got it. Thanks. Now, what was I? Now, after this bit, I actually thought uh, Small Mac was here trying to threaten her and stuff, but uh, as we'll find out, it's a little bit different. But we are going to stay in here. On the left-hand side in the open cupboard, there is going to be a t-shirt, and that is the one that we need to finish off the, uh, the collectibles in this chapter and every achievement for chapter two as well. Those other jock assholes. What? No. I, you made us to kill a robot and won a fucking contest. That's... First of all, we got third place. Anyway, it's not a robot. So there it is then, the rare achievement sound that really sounds as delicious as it looks as well. Um... <laughs> But I just end up listening to the final part of the dialogue here before we go and speak to Gropey McGrope Woman. Get to see your robot. If you want to show me. So actually, it's pretty sad now. Um, Big L and all right here, Big L is starting to lose her mind. So we basically need to put everything in order to remember a, an order. So we're going to head straight to the sign first. And that is going to get out this little cutscene. And it's going to say, sorry, we are Lacoste. Which I tell you what, somebody needs to change that sign. That's not, <laughs> that's not really a good sign right there. Next, head to the fridge on the right hand side. Interact with the flowers. And they're not called lilies anymore. They are actually going to be called, as we can see. We, no, we can't see. I move on, actually. Never mind. So head to the register next. Interact with that. Reading. I feel broken. So once that is done, we're going to head into the back room on the left. And there's basically a phone directly in front of us. Let's interact with that one. Thank you for calling Pornhub online. Just come. <gasps> Gross, Riley. And the last but not least, the picture on the left of Riley and the groper. She can't find out. Holy shit. just that she forgot what she was doing. She's afraid she's forgetting everything. But how can I help? Forget what you were working on? <sighs> you could say I'm having a bit of a senior moment. <laughs> well, maybe I can help. Maybe try closing your eyes and really concentrating on what you were doing. If only.
You could focus on something else for a bit and see if it comes back. I suppose. But I can't help feeling like it was something important. Whatever it was. Does Riley know? You could ask her. Oh, no, no. I can't ask Riley. I wouldn't want to bother her. Seems like you have a lot going on today. I could help you retrace your steps. Oh, I, I don't want to keep you. <laughs> hey. I... I want to help. So as much as I joke in everything through the videos, it actually must be a seriously horrible feeling for everyone involved for anyone who has dementia and for the family of those that um have a family member that suffer with dementia it's got to be bloody horrible um like you know lucky i haven't been there yet but still horrible horrible feeling so we're gonna head to the sign first basically we need to do this in a particular order so we need to say uh interact with a sign that says sorry we are lacoste and to be honest, Lacoste sounds more like um, an apparent hip modern name, and it actually sounds like crap. Distracted me. Better. We can do this. Okay, next. Head um, back past the register and the flowers to the back room. Um, that'll obviously be for in a minute. Now we need to interact with the deaf pond. Could a phone call have distracted you? Yes! I got a call first thing in the morning. But I can't think who it was. Maybe we can find something to remind you. Next, we're going to interact with the picture of Riley. I can't actually read what that says. My eyes are terrible. Oh god, I'm old! But still, interact with the photo anyway while I tear up at the fact that my eyes are going to tell me about a new order oh, goodness what was the order for so two more things of course that we are going to look at the first one is obviously going to be the flowers now in the fridge the uh what are they called the lysiel hey hey girl my name is lysiel and, uh, you know, I rush it odd and I pay with the check, man. I don't know what the hell accent that. That just went from Welsh to Mexican real quick. Bad Mexican, by the way. Not very good at the... <laughs> not very good at the accent. Now we just have to figure out who ordered them. And, of course, last but not least, interact with the cash register, which in this instance is called the, uh... The sit reg, which is a nice way of saying sit reg on my face. No, <laughs> interact with the register, and this will be the end of that. God, El, can you remember? Can I just tell your dementia to piss off for a minute? Jeez. Ugh. I am joking. Still horrible. Jedediah Lucan. Huh. Looks like the lilies are for Jed. That's right. Riley dropped off an order for Jed. I knew you'd figure it out. I couldn't have done it without you. Jed must be hosting some event. I wonder why he wants lilies, though. They're traditionally for funerals. Now, this next main decision is actually kind of a horrible one. She doesn't remember that Gabe's dead, so we can either tell her and break her heart, even though she'll probably forget again in about five minutes anyway, or we can just spare her the pain, so she forgets about everything else anyway. So, we're going to spare her the pain. We're going to be nice, actually. We're not, we're not going to uh, let her know. But, you know, if you, if you want her to let her know, she'll probably, like I said, she'll probably end up forgetting about it anyway, so... It's awkward! Anyway, we have saved her day anyway at, at the moment. Um, so, with that being said then, let's begin. No, I mean, we can actually head out of the shop now. So, thank you, um, 
my groping little friend. I do feel very sad for you, though. Again, I can't imagine what the hell it'll bloody feel like. With stuff like that. Oof. And what we're going to do then, anyway, when we're outside, we're going to have a little look at our Mobily Mobile. Eleanor said Mac is nearby. I don't see him here. Maybe at the bridge? And what we can do then, now we've got to find Max. So head to the right and then right again. So we're going down the street and basically, like, small Mac is seriously off his nut now. He is off his bowels, man. But he will be on the bridge. Should you can probably just see him interact, you know, basically blending in with the flowers. That's how unremarkable he really is. Uh, but we're going to speak with him. Alex. Look, it's not a good time. You owe me an explanation about what happened to Gabe. I'm really sorry he died. And I appreciate that you... You didn't out me to Riley the other night, but I can't talk to you. Drop the act. I know you've been lying about that night. You don't know shit. Mac, come on. He was my big brother. I can't. Something definitely has him scared. Maybe if I could tap into his fear, I could get to the truth. Hmm, why the curious case, Mr. Benjamin Button? Anyway, so we need something to uh, really get him to talk and poop his pants. Oh, uh, hello. You want to take some pictures, baby? Well, take pictures of death. Oh, yeah. Mm -mm, yeah, I'm a good, hard little poser. Mm -mm, oh, well, well, never mind. Screw you anyway. So we're going to head back down the street, hugging the left-hand side wall. And there's going to be an alleyway on the left, just by the um, pharmacy, dispensary, weed shop, whatever you want to call it. And what we're going to do is speak to Riley. Now, what I would do first is actually interact with her emotions before speaking to her. Um, basically, what she's going to say is something along the lines of Max a liar or Max guilty, something like that. But that basically gives us a new uh, dialogue option to choose. Um, so, for some reason, I've done this the pretty much ass backwards way. I ask her about Gabe, then Mac, then Eleanor, and then I uh, do the whole emotion thing. So, probably worth just doing the whole emotion thing first and just speaking to Mac straight away. Ah, oh, thank you for the friend, my friend. The, the ad, my friend, I meant. Uh, but yeah, def definitely worth doing. Interact with Riley's emotion first, and then just speak to her about Mac. That is the quickest way to get past this section anyway. Really? That fight Mac had with Gabe over your secret meetings. They were about you applying to college, right? Yeah. Ever since the first time Mac lost his shit in front of them, Gabe and Charlotte had tried to get me to end things with him. And after all this, I can see that they were right. Do you think he could have ignored Gabe's call? I mean, do you think he's capable of that? I don't want to believe that, but... Sorry, I'm really not ready to talk about it. Okay. You and Eleanor seem close. 
She's taken care of me ever since I was little. I never really knew my mom, but she's always been there for me. What does she think about you going away to school? She's thrilled. <laughs> I think she just wants me to end up happy. Will she be all right without you? She's a tough cookie, but I do worry about her sometimes. She's getting older. One day I'll have to take care of her. I know having you work with her in the shop has meant the world. Yeah. To both of us. I gotta run. There's some stuff I need to do. Okay. I don't want to push Riley, but I need to know more about Matt. So it's actually only now I realize that I did balls that up a little bit. Uh, so now we can uh, trigger her emotion, and then we can ask her about Mac. Um, I did try editing it all out, but for some reason I completely balls it up, so I just left it in. So hopefully, that's still fine. Anyway, so like I said, we are going to get a new dialogue option, and it's going to be the B button. He's acting so weird. Now remember, you can only get this option after you interact with her emotions. I get it. It's just... If he didn't do anything wrong, why is he acting like he has something to hide? He asked me to leave Haven with him. What? Right after the wake. He wouldn't tell me why. But he just looked so guilty. I told him I had to think about it, but... Alex, I... I'm scared. He did something horrible. Riley... Thank you for telling me. You deserve the truth. I gotta run. There's some stuff I need to do. Okay. We'll talk soon. Of course we'll talk soon, my sweetie pie. Yeah. Anything for you. Whatever you I really love this game's, um, you know, everyone's teeth are bloody white as hell. And their smiles are still incredibly awkward. But anyway, we're going to head back all the way back to Mac. Back to Small Mac. Uh, who is on the... I was going to say fridge then, Jesus. Who's on the bridge? Um, apparently we got stuck by flower pets. Flower pots. Um, now remember, if you've got any collectibles or any missable achievements they haven't done yet, then it's um, basically we... Alex gives us another choice. Sorry, my words are jumbling up there. Uh, but basically Alex is going to give us another choice. So if you haven't got all of the collectibles and if you haven't got any of the two missable achievements by now, go back and do them. But of course, if you've been, if you've been following the video, then you should be absolutely fine. So, now what we're basically going to do is tap into Max Emotion and, well, we're going to know, <laughs> we're going to screw him up. Innocent people do. Oh God, it's not, I didn't do anything. <gasps> Fuck off! Leave me alone! Don't tell me to F off, you B-hole, you A-hole, you stink-hole. Anyway, Alex is going to give this, like, really creepy stare to the camera, like, ooh, man. So, 
Let's go and interact with the camera first then, the CCTV. The very high-tech, modernized CCTV, where our phones can probably give us better pictures than the potato camera. And when we're done with that, head to uh, straight down and interact with this little newspaper box. Well, maybe it's because you're a, <laughs> maybe it's because you're a dickhole, man. Maybe maybe you didn't think it that. Anyway, you interact now with the f poster on the left hand side or the note. And then what we're going to do after this one, we are going to go down the street again and just interact with Stefani. It should have been you instead. Alex? No! What the hell? There are people out there! No, I told you to call it off! I saw the way they looked at me at the wake. They all think I let him die. I know why you're lying. Typhon's forcing you to deny the call. You might not have been the reason he died, but you covering for their fuck-up makes you guilty, too. You don't get it. This wasn't some accident. I told them you were down there, and they detonated anyway. On purpose? Why? I don't know. I swear. And then I get a message telling me to deny there was ever a call. You gotta believe me. Cave and I, we didn't get along, but I, I didn't want him dead. And now, now Typhon's watching me. My girlfriend, she, she thinks I'm a murderer. My neighbors all hate me. I mean, what, what, what the fuck am I supposed to do? I think I can. Now coming up to another big important decision, do we calm Mac down or does he not deserve it? Uh, now I'm going to calm Mac down because again, I'm nice like that, even even though we do want to grip his nut sacks and twist him for what he did, we'll calm down. Uh, again, if you want to choose the other option to see how else it goes for you, be my guest, honey. Stay with me. I know what it's like to be doubted. To have everyone think the worst of you. But the truth will come out. I'll make sure of it. But Typhon... If Typhon comes after you, they're gonna have to get through me too, okay? <sighs> Thanks. I actually feel a little better. Yeah, well, you learn a thing or two hanging out with shrinks your whole life. <laughs> so, what are you gonna do now? Don't leave Haven. I'm gonna get to the truth. Hey. Yeah, it's... Can we talk? Where are you? Okay.
You were right. About Typhon, about Mac. Alex. Mac got the call. How do you know that? He got the call and he lied about it. Doesn't matter. Someone is putting pressure on him to keep quiet. Someone from the mine and- It doesn't matter. I keep coming here and playing it back. But it always ends the same. Ryan. He's dead. He's really dead, Alex. So our handsome friend Ryan is not particularly best pleased at the minute. Everyone's still come to terms with the death of Gabe and Chen and Housen. So of course we're going to just hold the A button right here. Basically we're going to tap into Ryan's psyche emotional value. Again. Because why wouldn't you with a superpower like this? It was my fault. My job is to keep people safe. And I failed. You did everything right. Typhon took him away from us. Not you. She's wrong. I let her cross that log. I put Gabe in harm's way. I'm not a hero. Coward. Worse than worthless. You've got to stop torturing yourself. You did everything you could have. It doesn't matter. Gabe's dead. Because of me. Gabe, I'm so sorry. There's only one person holding you responsible for this, Ryan. You need to forgive yourself. <laughs> You're not alone. gorilla suit? <laughs> Does he also jump off of the cliff and into the pool? No, no. He chases a guy in a banana suit. <laughs> that guy jumps off the cliff and into the pool. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. This is a Mexican restaurant? Eh, nominally. <laughs> <laughs> the food is, uh, well, terrible. But it's Gabe's favorite place. <laughs> I tell you, he's the oldest 12-year-old I know. you something? Of course. You came up here to tell me that I was right about Mac. About him getting the call. How did you know? There's something... You should know about me. And it's going to be easier to show you than to explain it. This is going to seem sort of weird at first. Then really weird. Do you trust me?
Okay. Think of something sad. Like, breaks your heart sad. Really focus until you feel it. Gabe's laugh. We never made anyone laugh like him. You said you'll never hear it again. <laughs> never a dull moment. <laughs> the kinds of stuff we got up to. <laughs> <laughs> Glad I was able to help, but I think I'll pass on the kisses. Whatever it is you're thinking about right now, don't stop, okay? Keep going. Okay. What emotion is this? <laughs> oh no, we've lost Ryan. Oh no. Ryan, come back to me. Did you take one of Grandpa's funny pills again? If it was blue, that was meant for his wo uh, uh, Nothing. Anyway, so, <laughs> Ryan's gonna have a laugh. Um, Genuinely does look like he's just stumbled upon a magic mushroom. He's now seeing things for the first time, but actually... The explanation is a lot nicer than that. So, there's basically going to be three shapes in the clouds. All you need to do is just interact with each one. So we'll start with the goose first, then the top cloud, then the right cloud, which kind of looks like a shovel. Um, so yeah, you'll need to move the right stick this time to move. And that's all we're doing for this bit. Before a lot of conversation, and Ryan starts to come down from Magic Mushroom High Kingdomness. Gabe! <laughs> That's a lot of blood, huh? Gabe, this is serious. Killing a Canadian goose is a violation of international law. Shut up! It is not. They're Canadian geese, Gabe. Property of the crown. The... the crown of... Property of the crown, Gabe. What do we do? How deep you think? <laughs> Deeper than that. The Royal Canadian Mounted Police can spot a goose grave at a hundred paces. The Mounties? <laughs> oh, come on, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. How long were you going to let me dig? <laughs> well, I wasn't going to stop you. <laughs> Finish burying the goose or not? <laughs> okay, also, property of the crown? <laughs> really? <laughs> well, they are technically protected under the Migratory Bird Treaty Act. <laughs> I guess I have this power. I can see other people's emotions. They show up like an aura, and if I get too close, I 
I feel what they feel, as if I was feeling it myself. And when I focus, I can even understand why they're feeling it. And that's what you just did with... with me? Whew. Some kind of power. No kidding. It's... it's only ever been the bad emotions before. But... that... That was... pure joy. Who else knows? Gabe did. But... Now, I guess... Just you. And that's how I know Max terrified of Typhon. He reported Gabe's call, and they ignored it. Now they're putting pressure on him to toe the line. Okay, but... Why? I don't know yet. Someone made the decision to let the blast go off. Seems like finding out who would be a good start. So, you're going after Typhon? You'll need help. Next one's decision. Handshake or hug? Now, I'm a very huggy person, so I go in with the hug. But, uh, you know, it like, doesn't make me a hippie or a, a weirdo or anything, right? Hmm, red. You're welcome, I guess. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. No. Thank you. This one's for you, Gabe. I miss you. speak this morning. I couldn't. Hearing everyone talk about him, about the life he had here with all of you, I lost the chance to have that. But even though I only had one day with him, he changed my life. said, I didn't know if I belonged here. He told me that home isn't something you find. It's something you build. Miss all the ways you made me 
Everybody happy. Uh, this is the end of the chapter, by the way. Sorry, try not to ruin it all, but everyone's happy. Ah, uh, cute, cute, except Diane. <laughs> dodgy Diane with the bum stash. Something dodgy about you, you son of a whiny biznitch. Anyway, this is the end of uh, chapter two. So, now things are going to start getting more interesting the more we delve into what just in the hell is actually happening but it's a very cute and nice end and i just spoiled it by talking over it so you're welcome anyway that is the end of chapter two so i did i hope you enjoyed the chapter and i hope you've been enjoying the game so far i certainly have been and i hope the guide you've been following has been helpful as well as entertaining as well as interesting so that's it for this one then guys and gals thank you so much I'll see you in chapter 3, Big Love.